Can you just tell me, if you could just introduce yourself? Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Lucas Konopka, Professor of Clinical Psychology at the Chicago School of Professional Psychology. And I'm also co-owner of the clinic. Um, that's called Advanced Clinical Neuroscience and Behavioral Medicine. I'm also faculty at Loyola Medical Center, Department of Psychiatry. Okay. Can I just turn on the microphone? Oh, no. What? The air conditioning. Oh, oh, maybe can't turn it. All right. Well, don't worry about that. Okay. I was getting close. Okay. When someone is winding down to go to sleep, what, what's happening in their brain? Um, well, there are several things. Uh, if, of course, uh, it's a natural sleep process, then uh, there are several different uh, systems that begin to uh, operate. Hormones change. Um, activities begin to decrease. The brain enters what we refer to as a resting state, um, uh, which is characterized by theta sleep theta patterns, and as we begin to progress into um, the actual sleep stages, uh, the brain shifts totally and it enters into deep sleep or delta waves. And then, of course, that process continues throughout the night. Uh, the sleep cycle is approximately 90 minutes long and progressively decreases uh, in terms of uh, slow wave sleep as we progress through the night. And during early um, parts of the morning or late parts of the night, we begin to enter uh, stages of the sleep that we refer to as rapid eye movement sleep. Uh, and it is believed that during that time, a lot of memory consolidation occurs. And that is absolutely required for health. If you deprive people of REM sleep, you can end up with a variety of psychiatric and psychological conditions, including condition of REM rebound, which happen to you uh, suddenly and you go into REM sleep and it's very uncomfortable. And what, what's the best way to prepare before going to bed to get good quality sleep? Yeah, so, so the best thing to, to do is to uh, have a routine uh, that is consistent, uh, stay away from uh, alcoholic uh, drinks, stay away from caffeine, uh, exercise uh, not before the sleep but uh, actually about three or four hours before the bedtime. Do not spend very much time in the bedroom uh, doing activities that are not related to sleep, such as uh, you know watching TV. Uh, bedroom should be devoted to sleep and other intimate activities, but not other activities outside of that. And so you know we kind of refer to that as good sleep hygiene. So uh, you know do, do not ingest large meals before you go to bed and kind of wind down in terms of all behavior activities prior to engaging in sleep. Do you follow that? Yes, I do. Yeah? You got, you've got your own routine? I have my own routine. Which is? Well, I come from, from work. I uh, have dinner and then do a little bit of uh, work and then progressively wind down. I have a, a cup of uh, tea, not caffeinated, with milk, and then I go to bed. I what? don't read in bed. I just go to bed and go to sleep. What time do you normally go to bed? I generally go to bed around 10, 30, and 11 and get up at 5.